Yeah, Fine Gael asked me would I run for them in the European election campaign, not the last time round, but the round before that. 2009. Uh, yeah, and I think they wanted me to maybe be a sweeper for Jim Higgins at the time. And like any group, they would have, well, any group that you'd approve, you'd be, you'd be flattered and you'd consider it. And I gave it about a day's consideration, and then I said no. I suppose I instinctively felt that I need my independence, and you know, the thing that I can really give to the Irish political system right now is independent thinking. There's no evidence that the parties allow it. Yeah. Um, we'll see what Renewa does, and those circumstances, I'm very relieved that I didn't go for any party because I'd probably have been kicked out by now for so speaking my own mind. Independent? Don't know. Uh, you know, we, we, I, I, I suppose I, I do cherish it, and I do mm. like it. Would it would all depend on, on what was available in terms of freedom to identify what you think is the common good, and that's all you can do. You know, a, a sincere politician has to has to try and strike some balance between being a leader and a follower. Mm. If you're too much of a leader, you're a fascist and you're not listening to your electorate, you're just trying to control them. If you're too much of a follower, you have no principles and you're just giving, you know, testing what way the wind is blowing and giving people whatever they want, but not necessarily the common good. So it's, it's actually a difficult balance. It's hard to be a politician of integrity, actually, because it involves elements of leadership instinct and elements of following instinct. I feel most comfortable trying to do that as an independent, and I feel very privileged that I've been given a mandate to do it in the national Oireachtas, in the Oireachtas, you know, up to now, and who knows what the future will bring. Okay, Roland Mullins, thank you very much. Great pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.